Hey there, this is Carly Z with Gear Diary, and today we're taking a look at the Lifetrack R420 Fitness Tracker. This is a fairly basic fitness tracker. only costs $99, which is actually a big part of the appeal of it. Uh, for $99, you get an awful lot of watch. Uh, you get a digital display. You get a heart, two ways to run to your heart rate. One is through this button over here, and also if you have a Bluetooth uh, heart rate strap, you can also match it to that during workouts. You get Bluetooth sync, you get uh, step counting, calorie calculations, uh, sleep tracking, and you get all of that with a device that never needs to be charged. It takes a regular standard watch battery, they say lasts about a year per battery. Uh, that's not bad for $99. For $99 otherwise in the market, you can get a Misfit device, which is also going to run on a coin cell battery, but you don't get a screen. Uh, you can get a Fitbit Flex, so again, you don't get a screen, you get the Fitbit ecosystem, but you don't... You have to recharge it every couple days. Uh, some of the Garmin's also run on uh, coin cell batteries, but you don't get quite the level of um, detail per screen that you get with this. And uh, quite frankly, I kind of like the look of this. It looks like a regular athletic watch. It wouldn't really fly in a corporate environment. A couple times I've worn it to work with suits just to, to track my steps throughout the day, but I've kind of felt a little self-conscious about it because it really does scream, you know, athletic wear. But at least it's attractive. Um, as you can see, the band on the bottom here is gray. It actually is reversible. You can actually slide these, uh, slide the band right off, as you can see, and you can actually flip it around. So if you'd rather have all gray, you can do that. If you like the contrast like I do, you could do red on the outside. I believe they have some other um, band colors too, or they will have other band colors in the future. So overall, it's, uh, it's attractive, and most importantly, it's fairly accurate. Uh, I've used this for a couple weeks now. I uh, used it when we were on vacation in Boston, and uh, I had a couple days where we did go over 10,000 steps, and uh, the 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 uh, the calorie counting was actually fairly accurate. I think the highest calorie count I saw was one day it told me I burned about 2,300 calories, which still seemed a little bit high, but I'd been walking around a lot that day, so probably not that crazy. I certainly have not seen anything nearly as wild as what I saw with that uh, Adidas tracker that I had, where you know I walked 5,000 steps and it told me I'd burned the equivalent of running a marathon. Uh, nothing crazy like that. In fact, this has actually been the closest I've seen to accurate as far as steps and calorie counts every day. So I've been really, really impressed with the accuracy. Uh, it's really, it's an interactive device. I think that uh, it's solid, it's waterproof. It, uh, you can hold down your finger on this button right here and pick up your heart rate. Occasionally it doesn't always do it. I've been gesturing a lot, so it might not pick it up. And it's uh, giving me a little bit of trouble. So let me keep trying while I'm talking. But uh, overall, it's easy to use, it's, it's compact, it's even fairly attractive, in fact. People who have seen me wearing it have actually said, hey, that's, that's a nice looking watch. It looks like a regular digital watch, you know, you can kind of say, hey, look, how cool is this? My watch also tracks, uh, tracks my steps and tracks uh, how well I've slept and gives me all this cool detail. And people are like, you know, that's actually pretty neat. It's, uh, it's not on the same level as a smartwatch. It's not, certainly not going to let you know if you have phone calls. It's not going to do anything other than track your steps, track your workouts if you put it in workout mode, Track your heart rate if you push the button, or if you strap, or if you attach it to a uh, a Bluetooth heart rate monitor. But it does what it says it will do really, really well, and I think that's the key point here, and that's why I've been so enamored with it, and why I've really been impressed. You have a lot of companies that have come into the fitness market who have said, "I'm gonna make a fitness tracker. It's gonna be the greatest fitness tracker in the world," and what you end up with is a device that's mm, it's okay, and they're charging you 150 or 200 dollars for it. In this case, we're going in the opposite direction. This is a company that's really not promising a whole lot beyond, it's a fitness tracker, it tracks your steps, but for $99, it does a phenomenal job at it. It gives you a lot of detail, you get a nice bright big screen, there is a backlight, you can kind of see it light up on the video here, obviously it's a bright room so it's not the greatest. Uh, there is a slight backlight, there's kind of like an old school appeal to it, but really at the end of the day, it tracks your steps well for $99. There's really not much else to say, it also tracks your, your sleep, it, uh, it's uh, it's been fairly accurate there as well. I have noticed that it, uh, it does notice days when I've woken up in the middle of the night and, and things like that. I've seen that it has accurately measured that my sleep uh, seemed a little lower than it would have been otherwise. So it does seem to be doing a good job with that. I wish it had some sort of silent alarm. That the one thing I really wish because I love having uh, the silent alarm kind of things on, on these kinds of devices. But I'm not going to complain that much because it also has a coin, runs on a coin cell battery. doesn't ever need to get charged. There's a lot of things that I think you do have to sacrifice if you're, if you're giving up. Uh, the rechargeability. And uh, overall though, I mean, it's really, it's impressive. As you can see here, you actually can kind of scroll through 
and see how many miles you've walked in a given day, how many calories it thinks you've burned, how many steps you've taken, you know, all, all sorts of cool things. And it's, uh, it's really, it's simple. You also can switch between a more simplistic view. And if you want to know the date, the time down to the second, you can have that too. So if you want it a little more subtle, you can do this. If you like all the detail, you can do that. Frankly, it's not bad. It's a decent digital watch. It tracks your steps, tracks your sleep. It's, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, the company has said they're looking, they're, uh, they're going to be adding Apple Health and Google Fit integration. I haven't been able to test Google Fit yet because their Android app isn't updated uh, to sync, but I have been able to sync it to my iPad. Unfortunately, my iPad doesn't have Apple Health, so I can't really comment on uh, that integration, but I'd like to see more companies integrate with them. It'd be great if they could integrate with my fitness pal in the future. Uh, but really, even just like I said, as a basic fitness tracker, I, I think this should be really be something that uh, something that you should look into. I think that you get a lot of bang for your buck. I think more so than just about any device other than the Garmin's. And with the Garmin devices, you're getting a very, very teeny tiny screen. So if you like the idea of a nice big screen, something that has a little bit of an athletic look to it, you really don't have to spend on the level of a more expensive GPS watch if you're not really using the GPS aspect of it. If you're just looking for fitness tracking, this is a really good buy. This is the Lifetrack Zone R420. It is $99, and you can check out our full written review on GearDiary.com. Thanks, and have a great day.